never change and stay the same You look the other way, pretending all my shit's lame The easy way, yes, yeah, to put a bullet in my brain And watch him blow my shit up while I be rolling in my grave Out of control and I'm insane, if you and me, you'd be the same Everybody got a... So I'm working on this painting to represent global warming. I originally found this painting at a thrift store, and it was just of a ship at sea. And today I'm finally working on the ship. I imagine the ship has been abandoned for a long time. The ocean dried up because of climate change. This became a popular spot for graffiti. I love to use graffiti in my work to deliver messages, so I thought this was a prime opportunity to say some things about climate change. At first, the graffiti is going to be super saturated. By the time I'm done adding all of my textures and aging the ship, the graffiti is going to look more natural. This is one of those things where you just have to trust the process. Now before I completely cover this ship in graffiti, I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to share your thoughts and suggestions. Imagine for a second that this was an actual place in the real world. What would you tag on the ship considering the topic of global warming and climate change? I'll be reading through the comments for suggestions. I want as much input as possible. It would mean a lot to me if you could help me out by liking and sharing this video. but they're lined with razor blades and you splash down into a pool of boiling pee. Also, zero dinosaurs. There's no dinosaurs? No. As soon as I got there, I was like, where are the dinosaurs? What's your type? I have a girlfriend. So what's your type then? <laughs> my girlfriend. And what does she look like? She looks like my girlfriend. So what would you rate me out of 10? Um, I can't do that. Can't rate me at all? I can't rate you at all. What would you rate your...
ปิดมากเลยแล้วชอบมากไหนเรื่องนี้ดูเหมือนเป็นตัวโง่ๆมาประกอบสร้างเฉยแต่ทุกคนล้วนจำน้องได้หมดเจอแล้วหลายไปแ
of tears in your art? Certainly, you may ask about it. Hope that helps. I even have prints available with tears in them. Bye. Yes, communism is like when no iPhone. What socialism? Worker owns means of production? What that? If want to fight capitalism, must starve to death. Must have no iPhone. Money always bad. No make business. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Smash and Pass the Artist based on their artwork and then we see what they look like at the end and see if we stick to it. Today we're doing Jin Ginzi Hayoung. Jin is a surreal artist who has a very charming, spooky quality about their work. This charming nature of his works make them very inviting and easy to appreciate for those people who are new to art and make you want to dive deeper into the meanings. There is this reoccurring ghost-like character and that alone makes his, makes his works an instant smash to me. The characters are normally very small in relation to the canvas, making you almost feel pulled further into the work as well as analyze their space in the world. The simplicity of his works are in no way a hindrance, but instead plays along with the fun and playful surrealism that are present in all of his works. So far this is a super hard smash for me. When doing research about this artist I found out that they actually have a TikTok so you can just swing over there to see more of their works. I, I tagged them in the description to make it easier for you guys to find. And here's what it looks like. Oh my gosh dude, the bowl cut. <laughs> This is a hard smash, dude. The guy's cute as hell. It's about 
about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work. I have no regrets in meeting you, friend. Should the day ever come that we are not together, you will continue to shine like gold in my memories. You look so nice in your shirt. The world is running out of glitter, and nobody knows why, except for this woman. Can you tell me what your biggest buyer is? No, I absolutely know that I can't. Okay, but you know what it is? Oh, God, yeah, and you'd never guess it. Let's just leave it at that. This is a reenactment of a conversation between a New York Times journalist and a manager at one of the largest glitter companies in the world. Why can't you tell me? She responds from a nondescript warehouse in suburban New Jersey. Because they don't want anyone to know that it is glitter. Thousands and thousands of people have been trying to solve this all across the world. They can't. They found evidence, and I will say there's some really strange nuances in the details here, but that's for another time. Because right now, the real answer is, is we don't know where the glitter is going. We don't know who they are, and we don't know what it is. If you bitches don't have a job, if you're not in school, get you a fucking sugar daddy. Get you an old white.
It's the beat, I hear it in my sleep sometimes Blur it in your jeep so your peeps can stare at the rhymes Real rhymes, not your everyday ho- I hate summer I hate her crooked teeth I hate her 1960s haircut I hate her not be knees I hate her Whole world's been a leaning on me Bright kids, bright where I wanna be It's gonna be a good day, a good vibe 